see? No, I thought I thought we we forced some shots. Um, didn't take didn't take a couple of good ones, and then we couldn't got, get any stops in that third quarter. I thought we had a chance to you know maybe extend things. Um, but yeah, we couldn't get any, we couldn't get any stops and, and it was going to come down to who, who made the last shot. I thought that we had a chance to, but it comes down that we got to, we got to, uh, get more stops throughout the game. And then late in the game, you had Rui with the, um, with that inbounds pass and obviously Brad missed. Can you just speak to what you saw in the, in the kind of late game decision-making or execution? Well, I, I mean, we executed the one, the one, um, the back door play would have put us up one. I think it was maybe less than 15 seconds. Brad, it just, the ball just slipped out of Brad's hands. I thought he got fouled watching it live, but he, he wasn't. Just watched the replay. Um, that was just a un, unfortunately slip up there. But the last play, I thought just really overthrew him. But it was, you know, we're down three. That's what we call the home run play. Uh, but yeah. They made they made a couple of key key plays down the end. Fred. Scott, the 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 play design on that that Rui play, he was supposed to look down court on that? Or was that that him him kind of improvising there? No, it's down court. It's down court. We didn't have a timeout. Um yeah, just over he overthrew it. Uh T V didn't didn't have his legs. Uh I thought Thaddeus did a good job of bottling them up and pushing them out and just flew over the top. They did and, a good job of covering it. And uh, why, why was Bonga the guy out of the rotation with Rui back tonight? Um, you got to pick somebody. Uh, I thought Rui, I thought Rui came in and did a good job. And you know, we're trying to find minutes um, for, for Troy and, and Bonga. Uh, tonight it was, uh, it was Bonga. Who knows? I mean, it was Troy, but who knows what it will be tomorrow night. Neil. Coach, what do you seeing from the defensive here? It seems play after play, you guys are having some kind of lapse. What do you think? Well, they're, they're, there's good throughout the league. There's good players. Teams are scoring a lot of points, uh, but we, we need to do a better job with that. It's not an excuse. We need to do a better job. We, I thought, thought in the, um, Start the game wasn't bad. The finishing quarter wasn't bad. I thought we did a good job. We, we uh, made them miss a lot of shots. Um, but those, those middle, those middle, uh, middle quarters in the late first quarter, they got, they got a bunch of uh, good looks and they made a lot of threes. I think they made 11 threes in the first half and they were late on rotations and we still having problems uh, of not getting away from those being late on those on rotations. Ben Standing. Hey Scott, um, I know it's only one game since you said that you, you weren't worried that you guys would be able to you know figure some things out. But that said, it's another loss. What is your level of concern right now with where things are? Um, yeah, we don't. None of us want to be zero and five, but I, I like to. I still very confident in our group. We can. This is not the worst thing that 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 will will happen to any of us. We're just we're not happy with the start. Uh, we know we can play better. We know we can um, play better longer spurts. We've had some good, great, actually great moments, uh, even tonight, where things were looking good and we were clicking on both ends. But we have to be able to sustain that. We got to be able to come in, come in off the bench and be able to sustain that. Um, DB is not going to go 0 for 8 uh, too often. You know, he's going to get his legs back. Uh, Rui, that's a, that's a good uh, good first game back. Now we're going to get him in the mix. I'm still confident in our group. There's a there's a lot of there's a lot of season left. Uh, we still got 67 games, but we you know we're not happy. I'm I'm upset with myself. I'm because uh, I know you know if we would have had a, a a couple of better moments in all these games, we could be easily have a couple more wins. Take a couple more, Zach. Hey, Coach, uh, what did you think of Rui's defense today? He was a team high plus 13. Yeah, uh, Rui was great. And I, I, I kind of thought that he would have this type of game. This, he's a, he is just a, 
he's a freak athlete. He, he, he knows he, he came in, you know, he, he conditioned himself while he was out. Uh, he, he got a lot of great work in the last four or five days. Uh, he, I thought he was terrific on both ends. Um, we try to keep his minutes right at the, like 24, end up playing him 25 tonight. Um, see how he feels tomorrow. Maybe he gets, maybe gets a few more, but uh, that's, that's what's exciting. We're going to get everybody back and everybody's going to get their legs under them and we can, we can, you know, start getting some wins and getting some confidence. You know, that first win is always going to be tough. And, you know, we've had a couple of opportunities that we didn't, we didn't finish the, finish the job, but we're not going to point fingers. We're just going to keep fighting and we're going to keep playing for each other. Last question from Ben. Hi, Coach. Um, on Tuesday, the team gave up 115 points. Today, they gave up 133. It's an undermanned Bulls team. Is there a reason why this team isn't making the proper adjustments? Is it a personnel issue? Is it an effort thing or maybe something else? No, it's not not an effort. I mean, we're, pl we're playing hard. We just have to play better. Uh, there's no question. We're playing hard. We're, we're going we're gonna to continue to work. We're going to continue to grind and find ways to, to get better on both ends. I mean, it, it, I don't think uh, through training camp and through exhibition and through the first five, it wasn't it, none, of, none of its effort. We got to, we got to play better for longer stretches. We've had, we've had games where we had a, a really good, you know, 38 to 39 minutes and 40 minutes. And, but it seems like every, every game we're just, we're, we're not really uh, sustaining those, uh, it was good moments, but we're we're gonna we're gonna keep working and keep trying to figure things out. The beauty of adversity, um, you know, you realize you you're in a funk and you're playing in a league of grown men, playing in a competitive league, and no one's gonna feel sorry for you. You know, you guys asking me these questions, you guys don't feel sorry for us. You know, so it's on us to camaraderie, build each other up every day, keep our heads high. Granted, we don't do moral victories. We don't do those, you know. Um, so we just got to hold, you know, take our take this on a chin uh, and, and get better. You know, we got another opportunity tomorrow to start our year off right. You know, hopefully that that gives us a little bit more motivation to, you know, let's just turn it around. You know, we got we to do it. And it's only going to be us in this locker room that gets it done. Do you think that you or the team need to make any sort of specific changes to either your routine or something you're doing on the court or or do you think it's just a keep plugging away situation no sure i mean i think we're really prepared before the games i think our trainers and our coaches go above and beyond to make sure that we're prepared uh you know whether it's stretching getting our you know working with our trainers and our coaches prepare film and scouting reports for us so we should be more than prepared and you know each and every time we step onto the floor um, I'm not sure everybody has their own ritual. You know, I have my own, I'm not changing mine, uh, but I have to be better. You know, I gotta be on, I gotta be better on the floor. I gotta close the game out at the end of the game tonight. Had a chance, lost the ball, but it's tough. You know, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta rally together. We gotta do it together. And that's the only way, it's the only way out of it. Honestly, it's a simple answer. It's not, you know, we can't complicate it more than what it is. You know, we just gotta fight together and get a win. Ben Standing. Hey, Brad. Um, a lot was made during the offseason about how you were in constant contact with management or whomever about what you guys were doing and just getting, they wanted your in, input on things. Is that conversation still going on now or is that something you'd like to have happen considering where things are going right now? Come on, Ben. <laughs> ben, we five games into the year. Uh, is those conversations haven't been had like chef hasn't came to me saying we need to do something or Brooks either. Like it's, we're okay. You know, and the, the sick part about it is that we're not the only team in this situation. You know, there's a lot of teams who, who are struggling, who aren't winning, you know, teams who are playoff teams too. So, you know, we gotta, we just gotta be better. Uh, you know, with the guys that we have, you know, you can't make that excuse. how oh, we're not talented enough. We don't have the guys. That's, I think that's BS. You gotta, we're all in the NBA for a reason, you know, Everybody's getting paid to do this. You know, we have the best job in the world, you know, so we just got to, there's no reason why we shouldn't be prepared every game. And there's no reason why we shouldn't be ready to go as soon as the jump ball's in the air. We got the best job in the world. So you know, we rocking with who we got.
and, and just to that point, do you feel like, I guess, maybe more responsibility even this year based on the circumstances you're in with you being, you know, now the, the sort of the, the true, if you weren't already, the, the, the face of the team and things like that? A little bit. I mean, the pressure's always going to be be on me. You know, we win, it's on me. We lose, it's definitely on me. It's, I mean, it's just what, it's what it is. It's what comes with this position. Uh, and I'm cool with that. You know, uh, we're we're in a tough spot, but you know, we can't we can't get down on ourselves. You know, like Fred said earlier, like it's it is tough to not do that. But that's the beauty of it. Like I said before, adversity. You know, we got to rally together. You know, and the only way we're going to do it. It's with the 15, you know, 15 guys we got in our locker room, you know, nobody else, you know, the staff too, like they're not playing. They're not, they're not out there competing, you know, that's on us. So we got to get it done. Neil. Brad, it seems like the on ball defense is really causing guys trouble. Then your defense has to rotate and guys get out of position. What's the, what's the way to fix that? Uh, I think individually, just accepting that challenge, you know, we got to be a lot better, um, you know, guarding our guy, keeping our man in front of us, you know, we have to kind of view it as not selfish, like we kind of play selfishly on defense, it's weird, you know, we, and it kind of forces us in times to be scram, putting us, put us in scramble situations, like we got to be better at guarding the ball, uh, we got to be better in pick and rolls, fighting over screens, guards getting up into the ball, bigs being at the level. We all got to be in unison. We're not in unison every single time. You know, it's a lot of inconsistencies down the floor. You know, we'll get a stop or two here, and then you know, they'll get a four or five buckets. You know, so we gotta we gotta be more consistent, more consistent. You know, we're we're showing we can do it. We have spurts where you can do it, but consistency is key. Take a couple more, Matt. Uh, hey, Brad, when you maybe feel like you're not getting certain calls, how do you keep that from sort of taking you out of your game mentally? I oh, just stay aggressive. I keep going until they call it. And it's always funny because they come up to me at halftime and say that they missed the calls. So, you know, I'm, I'm, I look at myself and I'm like, okay, well, I'm not, I wasn't tripping. Uh, but it's also frustrating too, because you can't stop a game and get those calls back. You know, you're not going to, you know, start the half with those calls. So it's frustrating for sure. Uh, but, you know, I keep attacking. We all keep attacking. That's the only thing we can do. Thanks. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Last question from Ava. Hey, Brad, can you just describe a little bit the um, the kind of atmosphere in the locker room? Obviously, you guys have a quick turnaround and probably a plane to catch. Yeah, everybody's pissed. <laughs> OK, <laughs> thanks, Brad. We're pissed off, yep. yeah. But in a good way, we're, we're pissed off. Win the game, I think, got to be, I think, fester. Um, but it's hard to say one thing or, or why we're not. Uh, being so successful, successful on, on defense, but we're going to have to work on that for sure. Anybody else? Kellen? Um, yeah, just, you know, when you, when the team loses five games in a row, you know, I think someone asked Brad this too, but how do you not let it impact you like mentally? How do you kind of make sure you're, you're you know, how, how does it impact you mentally? How do you not let it affect you too negatively? I mean, I think every human being is going to have an effect in their, their head, you know, after losing five games in a row. If you are a competitor, and I'm pretty sure everybody here is. So um, I don't think there's, I think there's no way it's not going to affect us. Um, but we have to fight through it. We have to uh, accept it that we lost five games in a row. Uh, we got to accept that we got to get better um, and and do the work. I think there's nothing else to to do. I think we got to do the work, accept that we're not as good as we thought we were, I think. But um, we just got to get take pride in, 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 and go out there and play. You know, I think we trust each other. That's all that matters. And we're going to fight through and, and try to get more uh, wins for sure. Daryl. Hey, Raul, does having a quick turnaround for uh, tomorrow night's game with Minnesota help uh, mentally with getting over the bad taste to get another loss tonight? I think so. I think uh, um, if we if we try to get better um, on the things we have to get better and not think about the loss, I think it's going to be 
better to the to, to play tomorrow than just have a practice and have a couple of days off where you're still thinking about the game. Um, I think uh, we got to take advantage of that and, and, and come out there tomorrow, play hard, play uh, like we want to win and, and, and see what happens. I think at this point, we just got to get better. You know, we just got to think about playing better and, um, and the win is going gonna, gonna to come. Anyone else? Going once. Neil, go ahead. Hey, well, just uh, for yourself personally, you know, I know last game you didn't have the greatest shot going for you, but you were able to rebound, hit a few key shots late today. How good does that feel for yourself personally? I mean, after a loss, it doesn't feel great. Of course, for me personally, during the game, you feel a little more confidence when you make the shots than when you miss five, six shots. I don't even remember how many shots I took last game, but um, when you end the game losing, it doesn't matter. Um, of course, I want to help the team. I want to do my best, and I'm going to keep shooting. I'm going to keep being confident and, 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 like I say, trying to do my best. But right now, it's hard to say I'm happy that I play well because I'm not happy. So um, during the game, it felt great, though. No, we all fired now. We just, it's tough, you know. As a team, you know, we want to win, of course. And, you know, I think that today we came out with a good energy. Um, Right now, we just love the game. And can you can you take us through what happened on that inbounds play to end the game? What your reads were and and that pass? Did you want that? The the inbounds play to end the game. Can you just take us through what you were seeing? The full court pass. Oh yeah, it was just uh, it was a home run play. You know, we didn't have a timeout, so um, I was just going to throw the pass to PB, and yeah, it just didn't. Eva. Hey, Rui. Um, could you pinpoint the issue for you guys on defense tonight? It wasn't offense that was the problem, obviously. But what were you seeing on uh, on defense? Yeah, it was obviously de defense. You know, we were just giving up like easy fouls and stuff. Um, I think they shoot a lot of free throws. You know, um, we didn't even get free throws that much, that many. And, you know, we're just giving like an easy power, and you know, um, they were just comfortable to do a lot. You know, everything just shoot threes, uh, drive, kick out. You know, they're I feel like they're doing whatever they want. Neil, hey Rui. Uh, previously, coach had said you know you might be around twenty minutes a game. You end up playing twenty five minutes. I'm just curious how your conditioning was holding up at the end of the game. You know, I talked to the uh, the medical and coaching staff um, after the third quarter, and I felt good. So I just told them, you know, I just talked to them, and they added five minutes more. And yeah, that's good. That's what it is. Yeah. Ferdinand. Hello, Hachimura from Puerto Rico. As an athlete, how difficult it is to be in this position, and what is the mentality that the team must have to get ahead? Mentality of what? The mentality to get ahead. Get ahead, huh? Oh, yeah. Uh, you know, it's just, you know, we all five right now. You know, we haven't won a game. Uh, it's a tough start, but, you know, we, we're a new team. We still have, like, you know, a lot to go. We just got to have more good chemistry, you know, in the team, uh, the team you know. Uh, I think I think we'll be fine, you know. We're just, we're just going to take the time a little bit, but, you know, we're going to be fine. Thank you. And last question to Ben. Mihik. How's it going? Um, I'm curious. You, you were on the team last year, and the team struggled defensively. Um, it's remained largely the same roster-wise this year. Is there something that the team is doing wrong uh, personnel-wise or effort-wise um, as far as the defense goes because the defensive troubles have carried over to this year? I think the effort is right there, but we, we just got to communicate more, you know. We just like, even like a switching, like we just point and switching and stuff, you know. Um, or like the screen, like, the, you know, like we just know, I feel like we just not communicating well, you know, still. We, we, we're talking, but it's like, you know, we actually got to communicate, you know, during the game, in the game, you know. That's, I think that's not happening right now. That's why it's still hurt to, yeah, for us to be fun. Vibe is just, we got to figure it out. 
that's the biggest thing is just we have to figure it out. We don't really have too many answers of it just we just got to figure it out. That's the biggest thing. What do, you, what do you make of what? Uh, sorry, what what do you make of the of the defense right now? What's the fix to at least get a little bit better there? I think it's all just constant communication. Like like I said before, we just all have to be constantly communicating and constantly engaged in in what we're doing out there on the court. You know, no matter what it is, um, you know, we let some of the guys get off a little bit too much, easy easy shots off, and you know they got to feel for it early. Neil. Hey, Thomas, you guys have talked about communication before. You guys have talked about it at a walkthrough. Why do you think it's just not translating to the game? I think sometimes we just think too fast for what we're doing at the time sometimes. You know, we all have good intentions out there when we play. It's just we just got to carry it over and just all have to mesh as a team. It's the only thing. Ava. Hey, Thomas, you guys obviously had a really successful night on offense and, and you did individually as well. Is it almost more frustrating when you play that well on offense or is it nice knowing because you had some of those issues the other night that you're like, okay, we solved that. Now we can just focus on defense. Kind of both. <laughs> you know, it's good to see shots fall in because, you know, last time we got discouraged because we weren't making shots. And then that translated to our defensive end, but we have to admit, we have to, we have to come to an understanding to where like, even if we do make shots, we still got to get stops on the other end. Ferdinand. Hello, Thomas from Puerto Rico. What do you understand that the team must improve to achieve that third victory? Say one more time. What do you, what do you understand that the team must improve to achieve that first victory? It's got to be a dog fight. For the whole for the whole game, you know, it doesn't matter what team that we're playing, what their record is. We have to be dogs throughout that whole that whole entire game. You know, it's gonna it's tough to, to get wins out here. It's tough to win in this league, but we have to figure out a way to get that, and we have to be dogs and grind, scratch claws, no matter what we have to do in order to get that win. Yeah. 